Hello YouTube, my name is Equagan, you can call me EK, and in today's video, I want to go over this kinetic bow, it's called the Fair Tara Diddle, and why I think it's possibly one of the best legendary bows in the game, especially in the kinetic slot. The reason why I say that is because we haven't seen a bow that is lightweight in the kinetic slot with explosive, we always have precision. Um, and I feel like just lightweights are much better. So I kind of grinded out the wellspring today. I got three of the bows that were needed. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically you need to uh, extract deep side resonance from three of the weapons in order to actually come into the Uncloud to make it. So one neat thing to kind of pay attention to is uh, Patterns and Catalyst is a new thing that was added, right? The Catalyst would have been there, but the Patterns is something else. So now you can tell whether, like, how many resonance you need from a certain weapon in order to go and make it. So if you go through here, right, I want to get both of these bows. This bow is also, this bow is awesome. It's an energy slot, and it's actually a brand new, like, uh, it comes with a brand new perk that I, I want to chase. I'll make a video for that. But basically, I needed three out of three Patterns, and I got it today, right? Now, Cool thing about this is, even if you're here, you get to check and see what you have done and what you haven't done yet, all right? So when you get those guns that have the little red box around them, make sure you keep them because they might be something that you need to make here, all right? Um, explosive personality, that's gonna begin a video soon. Hopefully I get the third one for me to make that. But the cool thing about making weapons and crafting it in this game is you get to come back here and put together your masterpiece okay so to me my masterpiece for this weapon is this roll okay i'm running high tension string it greatly increases my accuracy i have on straight fletching which also increases my accuracy i have on artist tempo explosive head and psycho hack the cool thing here too is that my lightweight uh upgrade is also put into accuracy i feel like accuracy is one of the main important uh things on a bow now psycho hack is pretty neat because sustained damage from this weapon lowers the target damage output for a short duration so if someone is shooting you and you, you know you decide to shoot at them right you can lower the you know the damage output for a bit the neat thing about this is the first shot's gonna hit then the explosive shot uh head is going to hit after all right a, like a cool neat thing about this if you notice is that my hand straight for explosive head also increases my accuracy all right now artist tempo draw time substantially substantially decreases after every precision hit for a longer duration another cool perk that could have been here right could have been pulse amplifier but it is not here if we look at the selections i'm gonna go in here real quick i think i need to take it off in order to sh shape it all right so, if I go into reshaping this bow, I'm not going to reshape it, but I just want to come in here to kind of show you the options, right? I have accuracy here, so that gives me plus 10 accuracy here. When it comes to these options here, right, if I'm looking, all of these take away from accuracy for me. You see this? Right? 57, 68, 61, 68, 61. This is the best I can get it at, to 75. Now, Arts' Tempo... For me is the play here you can do perpetual motion because you're moving around but i feel like ours is sample just guaranteed it decreases after every position and i do feel a difference between the normal art to sample and the the enhanced the neat thing about explosive head though is i've been playing around with it like i shot it at the ground and an enemy came in and they just like it did a lot of damage so it wasn't the initial shot that was put out it was actually the arrow that exploded after so the having this also give me accuracy was such a good bonus um i kind of wish that bungie would have given us this perk successful warm-up in this area i think it would have gave archer sample maybe the run for this money but it isn't so when it comes down to it, Explosive Head is the major one on there for me, all right? So if you're out there, you're going for this bow, you're going to craft it, that's what I like to go for on mine. And if you haven't thought about it yet, the Wallspring 
has a daily rotation of what weapons are going to be there. So I record this video on Monday, uh, the 28th, and it was it was the bow today. Tomorrow, which is Tuesday at reset, is going to be the sniper. All right. The next day is going to be the AR, and the day after that is going to be the uh, the grenade launcher. So there are four weapons that come out of here. All right. AR, grenade launcher, uh, bow, and sniper. It's basically that rotation. So if you need to farm for these things, make sure you kind of like you step out, you find the day so you can do it. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I see you guys in the next video. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you turn notifications on to all. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.